Scotty, would you currently vote independence because we don't have crown backing? Well, what we need to do is get behind the crown and say to the king, your majesty, here is a proposition for you. If we can secure, uh, you know, your head of stateship and your sovereign lordship for the uh, foreseeable future and beyond, as we did in 1320 with the declaration of our broth, uh, and you'd agree to be our head of state, then uh, we would like to be granted independence. We would also say to any unionists, there is no case for the union that we can find. There never has been. It's built on sand, skullduggery and jiggery pokery. And uh, if you would like to be full-time king of Scotland and England, as uh, you know, we uh, we made sure we made you and your uh, your predecessors in 1603, then uh, perhaps Scotland can keep its own money. That's the bottom line, guys. Never mind what party, and I don't like this party, and oh, I didn't like we, Nicola, and I didn't like Alex Salmon, and I didn't like this, you know, and I didn't like that. You know. Never mind the personalities. The bottom line is we have a crown. It's our symbol of authority. We have a curator and custodian of the crown, His Majesty the King, doing a, an excellent job. And we have Scotland needing to rebuild its economy and become a world-leading uh, country. Uh, and that's what we need to do uh, before it gets soaked anymore and the money given away to pals of the government.